Okay, hello everyone. Let's get started. So today we'll continue talking about objects and classes. So in the last video we discussed how we can create our uh, custom class. So if you haven't seen it yet, it's the right time to do. So on the top right corner you should see now a link to that video. So uh, I would recommend to watch it before you proceed with this video. Uh, because this video will be based on the previous one and a short recap from the previous one so we created a class rectangle uh, with two uh, variables side one and side two and also discussed how we can uh, calculate area and perimeter yeah? and as you might Notice we have a couple of uh, drawbacks in our class. So the first one uh, is related to our constructor. Yeah. So when we uh, create a new object of type rectangle, we cannot specify the sides, right? The length and width. Yeah, we, uh, we should do that separately, but we can do that at once, once we create an object. Yeah, and the second thing is related how we actually access or interact with uh, class variables. Yeah, so if you remember, we directly accessed our variables side one and side two for our object. Yeah, and that's actually breaks one of the most fundamental OP rules yeah, which is called encapsulation and which states that no one except for the class itself should access directly the variables yeah? so such behavior should be avoided yeah? instead of that in our class we should define uh, methods which allows which allow any other object or class interact with these variables yeah? so first what we do we set our variables to private yeah? so that means that these variables are not visible outside of this class rectangle yeah? and as you see we, here we already have errors yeah? which states that uh, the field side one is not visible that's because it's now private and it means that variable side one and side two can be accessed only from this class rectangle yeah? but still it's obvious that um, in our program we will need to access side one side two also outside of this rectangle class what we do we define a method which allow us to set the variable value and also to get this variable value and usually to set a variable name uh, we use a method which starts with a set keyword and respectively if you want to get a variable's value we write a method uh, which name starts from get uh, which once again highlights what we uh, either want to set or get a variable's value okay let's do that okay so that would be public then we set uh, the type of the method meaning which uh, type of uh, value it returns yeah so if our uh, variable is of type float so the method also should return float float and let's say get side one okay and from here we just return side one yeah, so as simple as it is yeah so if um, some other methods or class wants to get a value of this variable side one it cannot do that directly because it's private now but it can use this method get side one which will return 
side one value. Uh, let's do the same for the for the second. Get side two. Return side two. Okay. Good. Now let's go and correct it here. Get uh, ah. Not get. Uh, we need to set here uh, the value. So we need also to define a set methods. Yeah? Okay, public void as we don't want to return anything. Set side one and here in the brackets we should specify an input variables yeah? uh, which would be the value of the side which we want to assign to our side one right and uh, let's uh, so it would be of type load and let's give it the same name side one okay and here so this side one and yeah so rectangle set side one and as parameter we specify two okay and by calling this method we uh, set the value of side one to two yeah but still we need to define this method so uh, so the side one here it's a name of variable uh, so which contains the value which we want to set uh, side one and the name of the variable inside the class is side one as well okay and here you'll see quite interesting effect so here so side one and here side one as well yeah. so the thing is that right now uh, eclipse actually doesn't know to which side one we refer here or here yeah? because the input variables name is side one and the class name side one is as well yeah? to highlight that we want to our class variable side one assign value which contains our input variable side one before uh, class variable we should use keyword this yeah by this we highlight that this side one is actually this side one and this side one is an input variable side one which contains the value which we want to assign to this class variable side one right and now let's do the same for the second variable set side two okay it would be also of type float side two and here we do this side two side two okay and now let's go back to our class set side two side three right okay and now let's check the correctness whether it works as it should or not rectangle one get side one by this we check what is the value of side one of our rectangle and that's what the value of side two right so we should here respectively have two as we said two to be the value of side one and here we should get three as we did it here right okay let's save compile okay and as you see yeah the method get side one returns two as we did it here and get side two so get side one returns two and get side two returns three and we have once again 2.0 and 3.0 because of type float right so we uh, actually uh, java automatically adds 
0.0 because this variable is of type float right okay and finally i will show you one uh well trick how we can do that uh easily yeah i mean get and set yeah so eclipse actually can do that instead of us yeah to define these get and set methods so if we right click once we are in the class file and uh, select uh, refactor Sorry, not uh, refactor, but but source, yeah, source. And here we can see that we have a menu item generate getters and setters. So if we click on it, yeah. So we can do that because we already have these gets and sets. Okay. And if we click source, uh, get and sets, yeah, and here we can select for which variables we want Eclipse to automatically generate uh, gets and sets. Yeah. Okay, get set, okay, and voila, now we have this gets and sets being generated automatically by Eclipse. Yeah, so if your class contains a lot of variables, so and you don't want to define these get and set methods manually by yourself, you can do that easily uh, using this uh, right click, source, get, uh, generate getters and setters, and then selecting all variables for for which you want to generate get and set okay okay that's actually would be all for today thanks to all for watching don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that yet yeah a lot of interesting and useful videos will still uh, be posted here yeah. so uh, if you like this video just press like if you still have some questions or something is not clear you are welcome to post your comments i will answer to you definitely yeah and the next time we'll talk about about how we can actually define the values of our sides here yeah, so once we create our rectangle, how we can specify the values of sides. Yeah, so, so we don't need to do that right here, uh, set, but we can do that exactly here once we create our rectangle. Yeah? So how to do that, we'll talk uh, next time. But that's all for today. Thanks to all for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.